Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J. Today I'll be showing you how to install the Android Market on the Thunderbird i5 LTE from FastCard Tech. Uh, the first thing you must do is download the file from the link below. I will provide that for you. Okay, once you download the link, it's gonna uh, come up to a zip file just like this. Uh, you're gonna place it on the uh, on your desktop and you're gonna extract it to a new folder. Okay, once you extract it, you're going to see four APKs. Uh, one of them is going to be the one time initializer, the setup wizard, the Google services framework, and the um, Android market itself. Okay, once you see all these four, now you're going to connect your phone to your, uh, to your computer and you're going to turn on uh, USB storage. All right, you're going to turn it on on the side. Okay. Now you wait until the, uh, your SD card file appears on your desktop. Okay, there we go. Okay, now once, sorry, once uh, your uh, SD card appears on your desktop, now you're going to right click and select send to. Uh, then you're going to send it to your SD card in your phone. Okay, I already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. All right. So now once you do it. You're going to turn off USB storage. You're going to go to the main page. Okay. And now, as you can see, they're all, all numbered. Okay. You see number one, number two, number three, and number four. This is in the sequence you have to install them. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the iTunes. Okay. Then you're going to go all the way to the bottom and you're going to see one, two, three, and four. You're going to see the one-time initializer, so that's the first thing you're going to install. Okay, first you're going to go to settings, and you're going to uh, enable unknown sources. Okay, and you're going to also go to development and enable USB debugging. Okay, once this is completed, now you can go back again to one-time initializer. And you're going to install to phone. Okay, you're going to hit done. Now you're going to install number two, which is setup wizard. You're going to install to phone as well. There we go. Done. The next thing you're going to install is Google Services Framework. Okay. And you're going to hit OK. You're going to put install to phone. That's fine if it's not installed. The last thing you're going to do is install the market. Okay. There we go. Done. Now you're going to power off the phone and reboot it. Once the phone is turned off, you're just going to turn it back on. Okay, now when the phone uh, boots up again, now you're going to select by default and you're going to select home. Do not select setup wizard. Okay? Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to applications. Right here. You're going to go to manage applications. And you're going to go to all. Now you're going to scroll down until you see Google Services Framework, which is this one. You're going to clear data. You're going to hit OK. Now you're going to go to the market right here. And you're also going to clear data. You're going to select OK. Now you're going to hold and press the home button until you get to the home screen. Now you're going to turn off your phone once again. This will be your second reboot. And once the phone is turned off, now you're going to turn it back on. There we go.
Okay, well now once the phone is turned on, you're going to slide to unlock. Now you're going to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. Now we're going to log in. Okay, we're going to add account. Hit next. Sign in. Now you're going to put your Gmail account together with your password. There we go. Now you're going to finish setup. You're going to select allow. Okay, now if it stays on loading, you're going to close it one more time. You're going to open it again. You will see a market agreement that it will pop up soon. Sometimes you got to close it and open it several times. Okay, then you're going to see a pop up that says. Um, whether you want to accept or decline Google services terms of service, you're going to select accept and it's all done. There we have it guys, you have a full working market. Once again, sometimes you got to open it and close it several times in order for you to proceed to the next step. And we're going to search for Angry Birds, we're going to install Angry Birds and see if it works. Let's see here. Let's install Angry Birds and let's see if it works. This information was given to me by a YouTube member and uh, he was polite enough to give me the information on, on uh, his discovery. I'm just doing this video to show other people that own this phone, the Thunderbird i5, on how to install the market app. This phone is not yet rootable. Uh, I'm working on a uh, tool. Uh, to root this device. Of course, once rooted, I will post another video. It's installing. There we go. Once it's installed, now we're going to open the app. And there we have it. We have successfully installed the app market on the Thunderbird i5 LTE. Once again, all the files will be provided on the link below. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe. Uh, please comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a good one.